Hi guys and welcome back to Arena Tryharding episode 2, Shaman Run, run number 13. We are rolling and it's uh, going good so far. So uh, the deck is that it is, you will see the deck in just a moment. And then uh, I did win the first game, not because I deserved it, not because I'm a better player, not because my deck is good. Because the poor guy disconnected. I mean like he disconnected at the end of the game, but this definitely helped us Throw to take it. Hunter! I think Hunter is my nemesis on the arena. I always lose to Hunters. Will this be the day where I actually win versus Hunter? Can I, do I even keep stampeding Kodo? It's like... 1 drop, 2 drop, 3 drop. I'll keep the World Leader. <laughs> like, if he has a tight Hunter, that would be so bad. Uh, Alright, I will not keep the Kodo. I will just uh, try to have a second to drop. This looks quite good if... We stay ahead. Greetings, friend. One day I'll be a real nice. If we stay ahead. We might not stay ahead though. We might not stay ahead. Um Let's start with the Raptor and see if he just uses the hero power and trades. Because right now this is super awkward for him. Like he, he has I think he has to do it. Like if he doesn't use the hero power, I just get a free kill. Unless he has an Iotron. Sure, obviously, Hunter never never trades. Why would you ever trade? Why would you ever trade? It doesn't make sense. Totem up doesn't make sense on my side, so I need to continue attacking. Alright, so now he can go one to one with the Bloodfin Raptor. Or this power shot and kill everything. <laughs> Get advantage, sure. Sure. Mm. Well, Harvest Golem is quite good. Uh, lowly, I was thinking Lowly Squire and Totem up. But then he can kill the Totem easily, so let's go with the Harvest Golem. Hunter already getting that damage in. And that's the problem with the Hunter. Like, I cannot heal. And Hunter, if he continues the tempo, he just wins. And I have no AoEs as well. Is that is that a freezing trap? It's like, is that a freezing, freezing trap, guys? Like, are you seriously playing freezing traps here? That is a freaking freezing trap. I just, I just cannot believe this. This is horrible. Um, Maiden of the Lake is okay, though. Somehow, uh, because it will be a 3-7 taunt next turn. <laughs> but he just makes the tempo plays and that's basically it. I, I need to contain this board. I don't know I don't know how. I don't know why. Sure. Mm, let's see. So I can definitely tote him up and defend of Argus. And that might be a bit better than just slowly squire and tote him up. Like, throwing away lowly square is probably bad. I wonder... Is there anything better? Like, um, can I not play Defender of Argus this turn? Just kill the 1-2, play Totem, lowly square, Murloc, War Leader. I think that might be actually better. Just get the damage, get the damage in. He'll attack for, what, 13, I'll be at 10. And then I just try to win from there. Because I play, like, Defender of Argus. I have good trades with my minions. Yeah, that might be a bit better, I think. Just that, that might be like a winning play instead of just going for the low. Play low with Squire first. Hold him. And Taunt Totem is also quite nice. Alright, so I got minions on board. Let's see what he has. Uh, he went for the 5 1. Oh, he has Savannah High Main! Savannah High Main, just like that. How do we trade now? This Hunter, like WTF! <laughs> it's just wrecking me from the very beginning. Like, this lovely Squire is there from the very beginning of the game. How is it even possible? Okay, Boulder is Ogre. Can I somehow... I think I still need to go for the Plebs. This will be for 5. Can I go for 4 somehow? If I go Defender of Argus, I can totem up Defender of Argus. Kill this, kill this. I think I just need the 7-6-7, seven, seven. but this is like 11-13 damage to face, this is too much, I cannot I cannot have that in my life. So I think uh, Defender of Argus to them up I is the play, wonder. and that's a bad positioning, I feel. Or is it? No, it, it might actually be quite okay. So with Defender of Argus, I will defend those two. My shield for Argus! They're using real swords. Oh damn it! <laughs> this volcanic Drake, I cannot play it. Sure. Sure. We somehow need to deal with friggin' Savannah High Main. I just need to deal with the Savannah High Main. I'm dealing with Savannah High Main. It's actually quite cool. 
and he's uh, a bit out of cards, so I think Shredder should be fine if there's a snipe. So the snipe. That was a super good turn. That was a super good turn, and I'm still alive. I don't know what the trap is, but we are still 20, and we've seen the we've seen hell, guys. We've seen hell. <laughs> That's up. That's fine. The two one survived. Two one kills Something the two two. Tinkering. He doesn't have a beast. Slowly but steadily, slowly but steadily, we will take this board and the game as well. Um, I think we need to test for the trap. The Kill brain. the beast. What can can it be like a bear trap? I think overall we're in a good situation. Yeah, it's bear trap. I think just killing the bear here is fine. And then I can go for Baldur, his ogre, and Sun Fury. And we should be in a good, sh good shape. So 3-3 free free has to attack in the 6-7. 6-1 still attacks. That's actually still fine. That's actually absolutely still fine. And now we can go for Jamunga even. So kill the 9-7. Told him up and let's go. Let the top deck wars begin. Is it even top deck wars if we have? Um, well, we have a really good board overall. 15 is still safe, or was safe before he played the tiger. Now I'm concerned. Now we need some totems. Hex, hex is something. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's fine. I guess I need to play everything. Well, we are racing now. How much damage do I have? I, I should have enough next turn. That's four, nine plus. Uh, nah, I will not have enough. Not have enough, unfortunately. I hope you like my invention. So we can deal seven this turn. Uh, I'll have the hex. <laughs> the fuck? I can still lose this race, that's uh, super annoying here. Oh my god, is this enough? So, 4 damage, 9 damage, and this is Wind Fury, so it's 6, it's 15, plus 2, it's not enough. I can hex my own, I can hex my own thing, and then try to win next turn. Hmm. This is, this is just so crazy. Uh, give your totems plus 2 attack. I think I still go for it. 6, yeah, and then I hex like the 2 free probably. There is a lot at stake. Hmm. Web spinners, this is like 10 damage, so he would just need one more. Um, little time. Let's kill this. Go face. So he has 7 9 damage, he needs 2 damage from hand. If I kill all the web spinners, it's really similar because he just needs to, to have the beasts to win. Like, right now it's 6 uh, 8, so he needs 3 damage. He needs something like. Uh, so, like, Rhino doesn't. Ca Rhino probably cuts it, like, because he will play Rhino attack for 2. Well, actually. I don't think he would need the beast to attack as well. Like this is like we we might be just dead right now. <laughs> because I didn't have a chance to kill that friggin' tiger. <sighs> guys. Guys, I don't know. I'll just continue drinking. Is he DMing me right now? Okay, what are the So Rhino is just rip. If he is Tundra Rhino, we're bad. Like we're dead. Whenever another minion takes damage, destroy it. And a taunt? Well, it's a beast? You what, mate? We, we're good. We we'll played. Oh my god, that was so close. We got the combo Draconic Crusher! Wow! <laughs> oh my god, this game. This game. Like, we didn't have anything else. That tiger just sitting there and being, hey, bro, I'm just waiting. If you look, if you go back and look at his deck, that was. Like, I can't believe I won the game. He was having advantage from the very beginning like i feel i've been many times in his position where i'm i'm having the super advantage in the arena and suddenly like you don't have enough damage and even though you're a hunter because from the early turns he was wrecking me and i think the biggest the biggest turn 
the biggest turn that uh, turned everything around. Um, one, two. I will. I will have to keep shredders just to good. Maybe go to free. Yeah, it's it's fine if I don't have it. So uh, basically, the biggest turn was the turn where I decided to instead just go for totem up defender Vargas on the on the maiden of the lake to go for like as many minions as possible so that I was able to trade with stuff. Um, damn it, that's good. Like I can go with Bonger Lieutenant and then totem up, have a free free, kill whatever he plays, and then turn free. Yeah, I think that's the best. Lut Lieutenant is so good, so good. Underneath all that impressive armor, he's just skin and bones. Okay, maybe just bones. Come on, Bonger Lieutenant. Wait. He looks like he has a face. I can kill this easily. Did I tow them up this turn? Or do I just go for lowly squire? No, like I, I do tow them up, I think. Yeah, this is this is really good. Nice! Healing totem! But yeah guys, like this this hunter game, like going back to that specific moment where I just played the plebs and he did some awkward trades. I was able to deal with Savannah High Main. That was I think that was super huge at that moment. Hmm. Hmm. What do we do? Do we do do, do we tow them more? Do we tow them more? Or are we good with totem up? What if he has So this will heal, so I'll be at free. And oh, I can't throw them up any anyway. <laughs> like, sure, I'll just play over Spire. I was thinking, cause how how bad is consecration overall? Mm, consecration is definitely bad, but it's not like everybody has consecration before. Yep, I was going. It's like whatever, bro. Sure. It's not like he even kills my stuff. Sun Fury, not really. Um, do I go for Defender Vargas right here, right now? Let's see what he has underneath. Oh, it was just Noble Sacrifice. Sure. Mm, I think Defender Vargas is really nice because I can kill this and like build up the board. My shield for Argus. And I think even kill the imp. Um, I'm not really like this will be too, too health, too health. Yeah, kill an imp. I prefer to protect my four one. Healing totem for the win. Unless consecration, but is this the board? Well, I think last time was a pretty good consecration board. But then on the other hand, you do understand how. How good consecration is against Not Shaman. Sure. Yeah, this is really we're go going really well for now. Mm. So I can, I can pop the shield here, not, do not lose the minion, and then just uh, like kill, like tow them up. I don't even need to. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I can tow them up right now even. I wonder. Just use the... Basically outvaluing him. Like, super outvaluing him. Mm, I'll not be able to protect my 4 2, unfortunately. So, what do I go? Damage to face? No, damage to face doesn't matter that much. I don't know, Trog, like. It's, it's fine. I don't want to overextend as well. That healing totem. It would be cool to like go back and see how much damage this totem actually healed in this match. Yeah. Berserker is not scaring me at all. This is quite good. Uh, but we still go for the totem, I believe, and Shredder. Can I kill this guy? And like make it easy. So uh three, five, six, seven damage. And I want to keep my dude. Yeah, I, I think actually killing it makes sense. Because this board is already big and I will protect uh whatever I can what overall. And play my shredder. You face death. On the other hand, this is five seven damage to face. Nah, it's fine killing it. You face Well, Bone Guard Lieutenant, Bone Guard Lieutenant is here from the turn one. 
From turn one, it's just You're wrecking. Top decking, wrecking. Reporting for duty. And now I can go for Valiant, finally. Or even Hex. No, it's, I think Valiant is quite nice. With Valiant, I can kill it with the Shredder. There is a lot at stake here. So it's just like a matter of not getting anything fishy from the Shredder. Oh, this is fine. I like it. Ponga Lieutenant, please. Like, probably at this point, having a 3 6 on board, um, the totems will a bit better than Bonger Lieutenant. Yeah, that's a nice hex. <laughs> uh, yeah, hex, totem up. Be like, bro. Sorry, sorry guys, this, ga this game is like not even competitive. <laughs> this game was so unsighted, oh my god. I can't believe. <laughs> Wind speaker. So we're back on the shaman train and apparently it works. It works quite well. I'm I'm really surprised because the first game wasn't that easy. The first game was super hard and then like the guy disconnected in the end, so I, I he kinda gave it away. And he had advantage. Like I think I, I felt like this mage is gonna take the game number one in the first episode. But today it's just going great, guys. It's Hunter Hunter game was super exciting. This game was um, really, really cool as well. Like, well, cool in a way that it was an easy victory for me. I'll keep this hand. This hand is cool. I like it. So, so yeah, um, quite, quite nice, quite nice. This is not the best hand, obviously, and we don't have the one drop yet. Oh, thank you, thank you, one drop. Like the problem with this hand is if he has a good two drop. Like, one drop was super good, because if you would go for, like, coin dude, which you probably never go, but the 2 one would be useless. I'm not killing this yet. I just go, just go for the Murlocs. Got the pressure of the Murlocs. Yeah. Egg is quite, egg is quite nice. Egg is quite nice in the, the Paladin, I believe. So, I do need to do them up. Or is it just um, Harvest Golem time? If I totem up, what happens? I, I trade both, I have a solo totem. No, uh, Harvest Golem is quite a, a bit better still. It does force an attack into the Lowly Squire. Not like it really means anything at the moment, because I, st I will still need to attack the Dire Wolf. Ew, that's ugly. Run away! Run away. Poor bastard. <laughs> Hunter, uh, okay, so Shredder or Maiden? Um, and it says something that I'm considering Maiden overall. Maiden will be better on 5, I think. Just having those super quality mechs. <laughs> it looks like my deck is awesome. With like, Harvest Golem into Pilot and Shredder into Defender of Argus, what? Yeah, it's, it's a really good draw. And he's like with a solo dog with... Uh, wait, well, Koghammer is... Quite good. You know that? You see that? It's a good weapon. Dragon Egg, though. I like it. Miss it! Oh, no! It hit it. Flame Juggler, why? Wild Coin! Blessing! Bruh! What you doing, bruh? Why are you doing this, bruh? So I guess Maiden time. Well, yeah. We are still okay on board. We have slide advantage. Only slide. Uh, we had slide advantage. Now we are. Advantage, advantage is gone now. Tunnel Shrug. Hmm. Well, I can have a 3 4. So I think I'll go for the 3 4. Because 3 4 contests both of them. But this game doesn't look good. Yep, it seems like this pilot has the the goods. He has the good deck. So even though I had the Harvest Golem to pilot Shredder, he was able to deal with that. And right now we are really behind. Uh, I just need I just need minions. And that, that's what I need. 
And I have no cards now. And he has a weapon to deal with a 3 5 with a token. What? I think we're dead. I mean, not dead like right, right now. No lethal on board, but overall. We would need to get like a Tomb Spider. Oh, oh my god, Consecration as well. Yeah. It's interesting because he kept the weapon. If we get a good Kodo, then maybe. Look at the Kodo. Is it a good Kodo? Kill the Tutu, Kodo! Kodo! Missed the attack. Well, it's kind of the same thing because he still has to attack with both of them. Okay, so maybe if we get a good spider next turn. Or like, ba basically start slamming the big guns. Instead of getting raptors and he has nothing. Uh, he still has something. Still has a really good pilot deck. Totem is alive! Totem is dead! No! Fargo destroyer something. Still alive, 5 6. Getting those totems up. I just need to slam a big creature every turn. If I somehow come back in this game, that would be so sick. Uh, buffs are bad for my health. Yeah. Yeah. Fugan! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Savitar, I'm gonna block your dude! We put a in their play? That's 14 damage. Taunt even. So we're still in the game. Listen, all no, yell, it's Savitar. Oh my god. Yeah, this is just like... This is slaughter, guys. This is literally slaughter. Like, he's playing super safe. Okay, last draw. So this is a reversed game, like, last last game, uh, I wrecked the guy, he didn't do anything, and this is snowballing the other direction. Was there anything else, like, if I traded into the- Kunghammer still would find- What?! Pandaren?! That's a 50 DKP minus! From Raid Eater. And yeah, we're done. 50 DKP minus, by the way, guys. Google it. If you haven't seen the video, it's uh, from Onyxia Raid. And it's so funny. Like, the Raid leader is just shouting at everybody. But uh, this will be it for today's episode. So, 2-1. I'm really happy with this. Like, we, we are still... We still have a good score. Uh, with the Shaman deck. I, I thought it's gonna just die. But it's actually a 3-1 deck for now. And um, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. There's, like... There are still some plays and games I can win, I believe. Even though we have almost no Shaman cards. But some of the minions are actually quite decent. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching today. This is Nimsh, and see you guys tomorrow with Arena Tryharding, episode 3. Tyrion Fordring, leader of the Argent Crusade, a failed father, and wielder of the legendary sword Ashbringer. Here are 10 facts you didn't know about him. Number 10.